Is it good, my makeup? Wait, yeah? Wait. <laughs> Feels so pretty. <laughs> Hi Vogue, I am Luna Bao and I'm gonna show you how I create my relaxed glam look. First, when I do my makeup, I'm gonna use a serum. It's a good base to do. And then I just give myself a really good face massage. And then you let it sink in for like one or two minutes so you can grab your stuff together. I start with my foundation. So I apply it to my beauty blender. I basically put it all over my face. And then I start blending it. Also, you should not forget your ears. So I'm gonna just press the beauty blender in my ears. I also like to put it underneath my chin because otherwise you have a line which you don't want to have. And then I'm gonna use a concealer for my under eyes. It blends in much more if you gently use your finger instead of a brush or a beauty blender. I only have a little pimple here which I want to double cover. I'm using the same concealer that I used for underneath my eyes. It's pretty much gone which is great. <laughs> so I want to create a little bit of contour and cheekbones. I'm gonna apply it here and I go like this. You can always make the fish face, which always helps. So I kind of learned this in high school because then I started playing around with makeup. And the more you do your own makeup, the more you learn what works for you and what doesn't work for you. There are actually not many rules because every face is different. I made many mistakes in high school, so I definitely learned along the way. And then what is my favorite part is the highlighting. In my opinion, you can never have too much highlighting because I love shine. I'm gonna use a different brush, a much smaller brush. And then highlight you can also use for different parts of your face. You can put it on your nose, you can put it on your eyelids, and you can put it on top of your lip. You use highlight to apply on top of your contour, and it gives you that extra shine. So now I've done the skin, I've done contour, base and everything and now we go on to a very important part which are the eyebrows i'm using a slightly darker color for my eyebrows because it gives much more uh, definition on your face by the way in high school i used to plug them really i had really thin eyebrows when i started modeling the first thing my agent said were like okay luna first things first you have to let your eyebrows grow and i was like no i don't want to do that <laughs> But now I'm very happy that I did it because now I wake up every morning and I'm like, okay, my brows are fine. Actually, first I'm gonna put my finger through it to already create the shape that I want them to be in. I like it when an eyebrow opens your eyes. So I like when it has like a shape and it has like this little corner. And to find the corner is different on every eyebrow. But what helps for me is I start at the front and then at one point you can see that the other hairs of your eyebrows are going down. That's where you should cut your corner. And then you do the same thing on the other brow. So you go up and then you cut it. But still you can see that they are painted and that's not what you want because you want to go for a natural look. So I always use an eyebrow gel. And an eyebrow gel is really good because also your hairs stay in place so you don't have to brush your eyebrows all day long, you know. Now I'm gonna apply some eyeshadow. I'm gonna go for a natural shade with some glitter in it. Once you've applied the eyeshadow to the brush, give it a little tap so it loses the extra powders that you don't need on your foundation. To finish this look off, I'm gonna use mascara. First things first, when you apply mascara, you should always curl your lashes. My tips would be look down, press as much as you can handle, and if it's not done right by the first time, just do it another time. So now I've curled the lashes. For applying mascara, it's very important to know your angles. For example, you're gonna look down and you're gonna look in the opposite direction. I go from side to side, so I also get the little eyelashes in between. I finished my look now, but as you can see, sometimes it's still a bit shiny. So I'm using powder to finish my look. Same trick as I used for the eyeshadow. And then you go underneath my eyes and then you go further with your whole face 
You can always keep a powder in your bag to apply it during the day because of course you're gonna be sweating. But I must say, if you apply a good amount, it's good for the day. Now I finished the powder and I'm seeing that I'm not very happy with my eyebrows. So what I do, I'm gonna go over it with the eyebrow gel one more time to create the shape that I actually wanted. <laughs> and you can use the eyebrow gel as much as you want because it has no color in it. To keep my skin moisturized during the day, I'm gonna finish my look with a hydrating spray. Voila. Hi guys, I am filming this video from my home right now because we are in the middle of the coronavirus situation. Um, I want you to know that this video of course was filmed before everything happened. To everyone at home, please take care of each other, take time for yourself, but please stay home. Yeah, big kiss and love from me.